So the last couple of years, y'all have had a much more pass-heavy offense, a lot more pass steps, pass sets for you guys. How has it changed this year? People said that this offense is going to be a lot more run-heavy. Is is it a lot different in your approach this year, or is it still pretty much the same? Uh, pretty much the same. I mean, last year we approached every game saying that we were going to be running the ball or passing it really matter, which whoever coach called. So kind of the same thing, same mindsets. Yeah. A few years ago in the Sugar Bowl, Laramie Tunsil caught a throwback pass from the tackle position. You think we got to play like that in the playbook this year? Yeah, I need to uh, talk to Coach Lu or Coach Rickrod about that. Give, yeah. him, give him put something in like that for me. Yeah, he executed. I told, I told him I got some hands, but I right, right, yeah, right. yeah he, he executed pretty well. How do you think you stack up against Tunsil on the slot? You know, I, I think I, I got a good chance of doing it, but uh, you know, you know, he was athletic, but you know, I'm athletic too, so. Right. Yeah. <laughs> As a student athlete, did y'all have much interaction with Ross Bjork? And if so, kind of what was it like having him around and getting to know him? Yeah, uh, we did have some interaction with him. He's a really good guy. I really liked him a lot. Uh, and I have like, I would just see him around and talk to him. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have really much to say about it. I, I know as a, his emphasis is in the student athlete experience. What did you see while he was around that really uh, emphasized that student athlete experience? Yeah, he was all about the student athlete. Uh, went about himself, but. Uh, he, uh, he was a good guy, always treated me well, my family well, so I'm very thankful to meet him and I've uh, been with him for four years. Is there anything that you could talk about, Coach, so there was, like any funny stories you might have with the practice or anything like that? Yeah, he, um, Coach Luke, every time we run our up-tempo like, practice stuff, he's like, put the ball down, put the ball down, put the ball down, <laughs> snap it, snap it. So uh, he goes pretty wild with that stuff. Uh, you know, with rivalry weeks, he, uh, he gets pretty wild, so. It uh, it's pretty interesting to see. You say pretty wild. It's a different switch. He flips it and it uh, it gets us going. And, and you just you walks into the meeting room, and you know it's a different week. <laughs> do you see a greater emphasis in, in you guys running the football on offense? And what do you think about that? Yeah, I do. Um, we uh, this spring we did a lot more run heavy, uh, a lot of passing too though. Uh, it's good for offensive line, and we got a bunch of guys stepping up. We lost a lot of people, but we have a lot of good people stepping up. Uh, Royce Newman, Eli Johnson, uh, Bryce Matthews, of course, Ben Brown playing. Uh, you know, Eli's been a beast this uh, spring. Same with Royce, he played tackle, or uh, tight end in high school and transferred to tackle, so he's been uh, really looking good. And then uh, Bryce Matthews, been the dog's been coming out in him this spring, so it's been good to see. What are your early impressions of Rich Rodriguez? Uh, he's wild. He, uh, he yells a lot, but I like it because it kind of gets me going in practice. Uh, you know, everyone needs to be yelled at, so, you know, it kind of makes you more disciplined. What's it like taking over a, one of the leadership roles? Because, you know, Sean and Javon and those guys have been kind of your leaders. Yeah. Yeah, and it's now been. you're the guy. Yeah, it's been different. Uh, Sean and uh, Jordan and Javon, they've always kind of been the leaders and voice, and I've kind of just kind of led by example. But uh, now I just step up this year and starts uh, leading with my voice and uh, kind of just taking charge of everything. It's been it's been uh, it's been tough, but it's been uh, fun to do, and the guys rallied around. Which young guys have you been impressed with? Uh, Nick Broker. He's he's been uh, working really hard this summer, and uh, I think he's gonna get a lot of good reps this fall camp, and uh, hopefully he'll be able to go on the field this year. For people around the league that aren't familiar with Matt Corral, what, what specifically does he bring to the table? Uh, he brings a, a nasty attitude. He gets out on that field, and you love to see that as an offensive lineman because uh, he gets out there, and uh, that's how, how I am out there. So, uh, you know, he doesn't take any crap for anyone, so it's good to see. Was that scuffle in the egg bowl an example of that? Yeah, yeah, it was a lie opening. I liked it. <laughs> it got me going. Alex, this is an offense that doesn't have